How did a bored mathematician crack the unbreakable code? That warned America about Pearl Harbor, September 20th, 1940. Washington, D.C., a sweltering government office. No air conditioning, just rows of desks covered in Japanese intercepts that look like complete gibberish. Genevieve Grotchen is 29 years old. She's staring at the same encrypted messages everyone else has given up on. Japan's purple cipher is considered unbreakable. The diplomatic code uses a machine so complex that even Japanese operators struggle with it. But Grotchen has something the Japanese engineers never anticipated. She's incredibly, dangerously bored. For months, she studies patterns no one else bothers looking for, symmetries, repetitions, mathematical relationships that shouldn't exist in true randomness. Then on what she later called another tedious afternoon, she sees it, a structural flaw in the cipher itself. A pattern hidden so deep that it took someone staring at nonsense for eight hours a day to find it. Within weeks, American cryptanalysts crack purple completely. For over a year before Pearl Harbor, the United States reads Japan's most secret diplomatic communications in real time. Battle plans, negotiation strategies, warnings of imminent conflict, all because one housewife, as her colleagues dismissively called her, refused to accept that the problem was impossible. Genevieve Grotchen never became famous, but her boredom may have saved the Pacific War.